Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Brienne, or Bweedix on Instagram, which, side note, I actually hate hearing my own name. It's like nails on a chalkboard, especially my Instagram name. I like the way that it looks, and I like everything about it except for how it sounds. And it's so weird to hear other people say it. So this is my first real YouTube video, and not gonna lie, kinda nervous. I've been wanting to do this for about a year now, ever since I started making more nail art tutorials. Most of my videos here have been recycled Instagram content, which, I mean, isn't really gonna stop. Like, I'm still gonna probably post videos that I post on Instagram here and vice versa. But I did want to make these a little bit more, I guess, personal would be the word. So you can see me talking to you. Just get to know me a little more, I guess. Also, trying to figure out lighting to film videos <laughs> was very difficult. I am really sad that I can't wear my glasses because as you can see, you see all the lights reflecting off of them and that would be terrible to watch probably. So I get to be blind every time I film a YouTube video, which is just, just lovely. So I thought for my first ever on camera face video that I would do the nail polish collection tag started by Kelly Marissa here on YouTube. It has 10 questions and I'm not gonna lie, it took me a long time to answer some of these, especially the first question, which is how many nail polishes do you own? Now, I only started collecting, I guess, polish about two and a half-ish years ago, but since then I've gotten quite a few. As you can see here, I have quite the collection, so it took me a while to count all of them, but I have a number. By the time this video comes out, this number might be wrong because I do get polishes in PR. My collection does grow and I, I've never de-stashed or gone through it at all to sell any or get rid of any and just keep them all. They're my little babies. I can't get rid of my babies. I know some of y'all can relate. I've always been a collector at heart, you know? I collect a lot of things, but maybe that's for a different video. So back to the question. How many nail polishes do I own? I own, are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. In total, including all polishes, base and top coat and everything, I have 1,969 bottles of nail polish. That's a lot. <laughs> I don't think I ever would have guessed that I had quite that many. It's definitely more than any one person needs and I don't think I could go through all this polish in an entire lifetime. I, for one, didn't think that I had that many polishes until I sat down and counted all of them. I know that number sounds crazy, but I do kind of look at my Instagram and hopefully now this YouTube channel as kind of a job more than a hobby, even though don't get paid for it. I take it kind of serious and I really loved swatching for brands and getting PR and even though I'm not going to be doing that as much anymore for a reason that I'll talk to y'all about in another video, I really love all of the nail polishes that I have and I like having a big collection because then anytime I need something I know I probably have something that will work and even though I get polish and PR, I actually bought 85% of that number. I went through and counted how many polishes I've been sent and how many I bought and did a little bit of math. I mean, did take calculus in high school, so I know how to do a little bit of math, you know. And it's about 85% that I bought and 15% that were sent to me. So I have spent quite a bit of money on nail polish in the past two years. But don't worry, all my bills still got paid and I still had food to eat and roof over my head, so just polish makes me happy. So why not spend money on something that makes you happy, you know? The next question is, what is the first nail polish you remember buying? Now, that was a really hard question to answer because I started maybe buying nail polish when I was really little. And it was just like really cheap nail polish, like from Walmart or like Walgreens or something. I used to have one of those caboodle boxes, you know? My fellow 90s kids will know what those are. That was filled with my nail polishes and I could not paint my own nails like at all, it was so messy every time. I actually have an older sister and I remember 
She used to make me pay her with like fake money or just with something and she would paint my nails and I would get her to do that sometimes. So those are my earliest memories of nail polish and having nail polish but as I got older I stopped painting my nails and I got rid of all of those except for one. I have one of them left. It's not quite the first polish that I bought but it is my oldest polish that I own. Like this polish y'all, this polish is old enough to vote. Okay, that's crazy. I haven't used it <laughs> in probably 20 years but I still have it and I'll probably keep it forever. Just this little memory of little Brienne who always wanted to have pretty nails but didn't know how to do it. Like I said, most of my polishes came from Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, something like that. And this is actually a pure ice polish from Walmart called Frosted Ice Wild Orchid. It's like a shimmery, like duochrome polish from like purple to dark blue. Definitely way too scared to actually paint my nails with this now because it's so old and it smells real bad. So yeah, I don't know what my first polish was. I have no memory of that but that is the oldest bottle that I own. The next question is, what is the most recent polish that you've added to your collection? And I have two answers for this. First answer, this is technically the most recent polish to my collection, but I didn't buy it. It was sent to me in PR to swatch from Amanda, the owner of Cuticula, and it's Cherry Slush, which is her sprinkle of the month. Here it is. It's a metallic red stamping polish that actually smells like cherry. It smells like a, like a cherry sucker or a cherry slush. It smells really good. But my second answer to this question is the last polish that I actually bought. And that is these two polishes from Death Valley Nails. I really wanted this one for a long time since it came out. It's called Baptism by Fire and it's just a really bright neon green. And then with that order, I also bought Wild Status, this purple. So those are the last polishes that I actually bought. So I feel like I needed to include that as an answer and I just wanted, just wanted to show y'all this one. Like, if you haven't tried Death Valley Nails, what are you doing? Look at this, this is gorgeous. Come on, get this. Next question is, what is your least favorite nail polish that you own? Again, another really difficult question to answer. Because for one, I don't have the polish that everybody's using for this answer, I feel like. The OPI pineapples have peelings. I don't really own a lot of mainstream polishes in general, like different brands. Like for instance, I have never painted my nails with an Essie nail polish. I own two or three Essie nail polishes and they were all gifts. So I've never bought them and I've never used them. My answer is gonna be a little out of the ordinary but it is this NCLA polish called Heart Attack. It's a topper with pink and red heart glitters and a clear base. And the reason why that is my least favorite nail polish I own is because it is pretty impossible to use in a normal way. You can't just paint your nails with it and think you're gonna get these hearts on your nails. You have to like put the nail polish on like your mat or something and then just pick up the glitter and stick it to your nail. And I got time for that. I would just use a dry glitter and stick it to my nail or something like that. I don't feel like it's necessary to have that in a clear base, like an, in a polish, because you can't just paint your nails with it. So because it's so annoying, that's why it wins least favorite in my collection. Okay, so now we're about halfway through these questions. And the next one is, what is your rarest polish? Now this question, unlike the other ones, was super easy to answer. When I first started my collection, I kind of started with Kale Polish and buying all of them and now I own all of them. But the last one that I got was this one, my rarest polish, Das Expensive 25. I was lucky to get this polish for the price that I got it for, which was basically retail from a very kind, generous person on Twitter who heard my pleas for wanting a complete collection and generously let me buy it from them. I've only used it one time because I'm scared to run out of it because it is impossible to get now. When I was looking for it, when they announced that Kale Polish was going out of business, people were selling this polish for like $100. Did you hear that? $100 for a bottle of nail polish. These people are crazy. I was not gonna pay that much. So that is why that's my rarest polish because some of these people out here are thinking they can get $100 for a polish. The next question is, what is your most expensive nail polish? This is probably my most expensive as far as what other people might have paid for this, but I only paid 
ten dollars for it I think I went by what is the polish that I spent the most money on when I bought it and you can see right here this shelf it's all live love polish I own like 80 something bottles most of them I bought when they were on sale or something so I didn't pay full price for them because full price live love polish is a little spendy a little out of my price range if you will but I saw this one polish came out like last year sometime and I just had to have it and it's called dew it's this shimmery green with hollow micro glitter in it and I paid $18 for it which is the normal retail price for the love polish well for some of them that's the most I've ever spent on a single bottle of polish because I also had to pay shipping which is a whole other story next question what brand do you own the most of? I know I said earlier that I don't own a lot of mainstream brand polishes, but what I meant was I don't actually own a lot of mainstream brands in general because my most owned brand is China Glaze. I have 157 bottles of China Glaze polish. As you can see here, they're in these two drawers in my Helmer. And I tried to put them in rainbow order, but it's not perfect or anything. I found a website one time where China Glaze was only $2.50 so I kind of bought like every single polish that they had and now I have 157 which is a little crazy but China Glaze is my favorite brand to use for fluid nail art because the formula is really thin so it flows really nice and makes good cells I don't really ever paint my nails with these China Glaze polishes I only use them to do fluid nail art and not for the actual fluid polishes, the ones that make the cells, but for the other polishes to mix with them. Because they're really thin and so they flow really nice and work well. So yeah, that's the brand that I own the most of. The next question was the most impossible for me to answer in this entire tag video, which is what color do you own the most of? I have my polishes sorted by brand. So I can't really see like this how many reds I have, this how many oranges, and so I don't actually know the answer to this question at all. I'm just, just saying. I did not take the time to count how many reds, orange, yellows, green, blues, purple, like all that. Plus there's some polishes that I looked at and I was like, what color even is this? Like multi-chromes that are more than one color or just like ones that have shifts to them at all. It's like, what color do you say that is when you're trying to say how many you have of a color I'll just say that when I see brands launch collections or anything and I want to decide which polishes I would maybe buy I'm normally drawn to green which is really strange because I don't really wear green polish that much also I don't really wear the same polish over and over again because I have so many I just pick random colors that I feel like wearing at the time so I don't really have like a favorite polish either or like a favorite polish color because I don't really repeat things I'm not an outfit repeater <laughs> sorry that you're not getting a real answer for that but I tried y'all I tried it would have taken way too long the next question is what polish in your collection means the most to you this was a very easy question because there's only one real answer to that this is what Addiction Area 17, which is my collab polish with What Addiction. It was my dream polish at the time to have a green, kind of slimy, alien-esque green with purple flakes because I was really into flakies. I'm actually the main swatcher for What Addiction. If you go to the website, you pretty much just see my nails over and over again and all different lengths that they've been. I started swatching for What Addiction pretty soon after I started posting a lot on Instagram. When I reached a thousand followers on my Instagram, I asked if any brands wanted to sponsor a giveaway and Anna, the owner of What Addiction, said that she wanted to send some polishes for the prize. She actually sent along two sets of the polishes and asked me if I wanted to swatch swatch them for her. So I did and then she asked me if I wanted to swatch all of her polishes until the end of time and I said uh, of course and I've been swatching for her ever since and a couple months ago she reached out and said it's about time that maybe we do a collab polish. So she asked what I wanted and I told her and she made it exactly what I asked for. When I saw this question I knew the answer had to be Area 17 and I know other people who have done this video also have collab polishes that they said is their favorite. If I didn't have this collab polish I wouldn't know how to answer this question 
because there's not really any polishes that are like tied to a special occasion. I actually didn't have painted nails in my wedding. So in all the pictures, I cringe when I see my hands not painted and my nails look atrocious, y'all. Atrocious. I just didn't have a polish that really super meaningful until this one. It's my most precious little baby polish. And I actually have two bottles. She was kind enough to give me an extra so I could have one to never open or use. Anybody crazy like that? No? Just me? No? Okay, y'all. We made it to the last question, finally. And the last question is, what is your go-to nail polish right now? Like I said before, I'm not an outfit repeater. I don't really use polishes over and over again or have like one polish that I want to use over and over again. I like to mix it up. So, as you may have seen throughout this video, a little flashes of my hands, I'm actually wearing this polish that isn't out yet, but it comes out this month, the end of this month, on June 25th, and it's by Red Eyed Lacquer. It's for her Women of the 80s Summer Collection, and it's called What Have You Done For Me Lately, and it's this coral neon with iridescent flakes in it. When I was trying to decide how to answer this question, I was actually swatching this collection and this one stood out as being my favorite, which I mean, I guess I'll have to repeat saying that in the video of me swatching these that you'll see in a couple weeks. But I'm just like in the mood for summer neon nails and I really like the way that this polish looks with my skin tone. I guess lately I'm just in the mood to be like, no more spring polishes, just give me all the summer, give me all the neon. So I just decided that that'll be my answer for this question. Even though I don't have a real answer, because I like everything. I don't discriminate. Give me them all. I'll take all the polishes. I mean, obviously I took all the polish. I mean, I told you how many I have at the beginning of this video. Too many. It's too hard to pick a favorite. I guess that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.